Well, hello and welcome everyone. Uh, we got something rather special for you today. I am going to be starting a series with my brother playing Divinity Original Sin Co-op. So, let's head into the fray and start creating some characters. Giving them the, the worst name you can once they've been created. Um, oh, let me see, let me see. The worst name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know. I could give him a decent name, but... I've just called mine Evara, to be honest with you. I didn't even think about that. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe I'll change it to something else. I don't know. Uh, I've got one. If I can put spaces in. Oh, misspelled that. There we go. Yeah, I, I generally I didn't find the witch or the spell blade particularly strong characters. Mm. Having a healing spell at the beginning is quite powerful, but you don't have to. You can pick one up later or spec for it later. Well, I was playing on um, not tactician mode. What's the what's the the last one, the hardest mode, where you you know you have oh super down. hardcore one one save. And I was I was I oh, I didn't get that far. Obviously, but um, I was playing it without any kind of healing. Like, uh, what's the cleric one? Divine Light. Yeah. Yeah, it. I don't. I mean, is it any. Oh, no, not. I oh, never actually really right. used it, that, found it that useful. I did use it, but it wasn't kind of that useful. Because, yeah, I, mean, I mean, setting warm status, you can mm. do with a variety of other methods, and it'll probably happen anyway if you've got a fire mage or. Or setting yeah. stuff on fire. I'm thinking uh, as well, like the the thing with the regeneration is it's 13 vitality for three turns. Is that? I mean, is that good? It's got, they scale up. It's it's probably that I would say it was the he, the strongest healing spell in the game that I could find anyway. Okay. And it it generally will get you from 50% hit points to full uh, at any given. Level. All right. So we're thinking tank with a healing skill. Yeah, that would work, definitely. I mean, I've gone for a caster, so... Just, All right. just so as you know, so having a, a something tanky is... What's, um... What was your your spell basey things? What, what did you... Uh, I've chosen Earth and Fire, because... Alright. Okay. Um, you, you know, probably pick up a... Hydro type guy early on in. Right, so we could in fact just give him the regeneration. He will have it anyway. So I don't even have to really bother with. Not initially, if we can keep ourselves alive up until the, the point where we I'm... get the other guy. I'm sure. In, at at some can. point, I will take one point in Hydra's office on. healing spell because they're both mm. really useful. So in fact it's nice to have your whole team able to cast both those two spells just in case, I don't know, half the team gets stunned and can't act. Um, is there anyone we're picking up that is like crafting but, or do you want me to take on that stuff? Um, well the Probably put things like crafting and character stuff generally onto our companions when we get them. Alright. Um, the, the the one companion we're going to get that's going to have the healing will already have quite a high crafting boost. I will probably plough some points in Charisma on mine, just so that we can... Uh, mm. The old problem with most RPGs about having a lockpick is true, so having someone who's capable of doing that. But we'll... ...specific points if we want skills bartering or telekinesis or stuff you can do. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 I'm thinking... So I could, I, if I put a point in Hydrosophist, that yeah. would make you happy? It would probably, it will make the beginning of the game a lot easier for us. Alright, let's do that then. 
So, uh, uh, what's your base class you're going for? Or are you uh, doing fighter? Uh, do, 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 do. Remove melee power stance because I think it's a bit of shit. Regeneration, there we go. Let's see what else we got. Male or female? Uh, male. Good, because the storyline generally plays along the lines of having a female and male character. And I'm going to go... Uh... Do you have a poison spell with you? I do not personally, but I will be using a spider a lot who will poison things and spew poison all over the ground when it gets hit. Okay. Because usually I quite like having zombie. Uh, especially with tank characters, because then you can just run them into poison to heal them instead of having to. Uh, mm, good point. Yeah. Heal them with. Healing You're going to be running through all sorts of nastiness as the as the tank anyway. I find that was the case with my tanks when I've tried before. I, I'm going for zombie because if I'm going to okay. run through anything, I mean that means you wouldn't have to heal me as well. Uh, what's that? That's in talents, isn't it? Zombie. And this is this is the thing is like usually I. So have... you, what did you drop? My precious or opportunist? I dropped both. I. I mean, opportunist is is useful, but. I don't. I don't know. Is there something as a that you can get that actually gives you the chance to resist attacks of opportunity? Because obviously, if you're moving around within the enemy, they're going to get lots of chances to. Spend. Thank you. Mm, I'm just going to look through them. On mine, I'm, uh, I'm I'm going for a bit of a perception build as well for finding see, stuff, so you don't uh, need to worry about that. Avoid opportunists. Um, you need expert marksmen. Oh, right, okay. Um. So you dropped melee power stance. Mm hmm. And you want to replace it with. I've put in regeneration, but. I mean, I'm not sure we're going to need it. For the very beginning. Well, we can add it later, and we'll get a level pretty early on, so we can. Yeah. I mean, go go with what you want. Don't. Worry. I'm just oh, right. an indication of what my build is, so that you want to try and we can synergize together. But like I said, we're gonna we're gonna. I mean, we get what three companions earlier on in the game to choose between. Get a melee character, a ranger, and a sort of healing magey type guy. Okay, so in fact, I could just miss out all the. Um the spell shit. Yeah, if you want to. However fun it is. Are you changing any of your base stats, the, the attributes? Um... Like strength, speed, etc. Nah, they're pretty good, unless I took one off strength and put it into dexterity. Or is it speed that I want? Speed. Speed would be useful. Oh, uh, um, you, you can probably drop one for perception. I've got, I've got six on perception. I could knock that down, can I? Be putting mine. We only need one character in the party who's got a good perception. All right. Um, As a fire mage, I can also boost my perception. Okay, so I've taken one off perception, put it on speed instead. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. I've got one skill left. Um, I wouldn't mind, I mean, do we have any scoundrel skills? Do we need any? Um, we won't have to start off with, but we'll pick someone up who can pick locks, probably. We're, we're not going to take the melee fighter, because you're the melee fighter in the group, so we won't need to pick All her. Right. So we'll end up with the ranger and the, the healer come mage type guy. I was thinking, if I put one on Geomancer... And then I had the ability, a uh, talent of zombie. I could simply poison myself and anyone around me as well, being the tank if I'm going to run in places. That means I heal constantly if they're, as, as they're poisoned. Okay, what, in, in Geomancer, I've got Bless, mm. I can see Bless, Boulder Dash, Midnight Oil, and Summon Spider. Is this a later spell? Well, poisons. I thought poisons came under Geomancer. They do, but you won't have access to them from the get-go. Alright, well, I'm going to... No, so, I mean, if you want to... I mean, if, what, are you going to take Summon Spider, then I take it as a Geomancer for your first thing? Uh, yeah, I guess so. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to keep opportunist and I'll put on zombie. Um, quite like, I don't know, maybe you get rid of opportunist and put on water rush instead. Gives you two extra action points. And increase your turn action points and maximum action points by two when your vitality is below 30%. Uh, now, I'll keep. Okay, I'm going for opportunists and zombie. Okay, I was about to say, I don't think I'm generally. We're going to be letting your health dip that low, to be honest with you. Right, opportunist and zombie. Your abilities are. Uh, oops, sorry. My abilities, I've got one in single-handed, in weapons. Yeah. In defense, I've got uh, one in armor specialist, one in bodybuilding. Yep. One in geomancer under skills. Okay, uh, so you dropped shield specialist. Yeah, I dropped shield specialist. And one in geomancer, and one in... Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, and that's it. That's used all your points for the time being, hasn't it? Yep. Okay. So that's your talents and abilities dealt with, and your attributes. Uh, the spells that you picked. So you've got string ram and an empty one, which is uh, spider. Summons. Yeah, summon spider. Uh, okay. And then the attributes. I took one off perception and stuck it on speed. Okay. Done. Done. Okay, uh, your guy, what does he look like? Oh my god, I haven't I haven't done that yet. Let's give him... Ooh, let's give him some August Sun skin. Okay. Looks like he's been at the uh, spray on town a bit. Oh god, yeah, maybe... <laughs> let's go for... Uh, let's go for... Oh my god, I could make him pink. Can you? Uh, yeah. Well, very red. Purple almost. Mahogany looks rather plum to me. Um... I'm not quite sure why they call light saffron. Let's, uh, let's go for satin sand then. Okay. Um, oh, let's give him head number four. You appear to have a Brazilian on your chin. <laughs> <laughs> He's so dashing. He is. He is um, rather dashing, isn't he? Um, <laughs> with his Brazilian chin. Um, He's got definitely got some Johnny Depp going on there. Oh, I, would, I don't know if I want to give him a flat top. Um, <laughs> I've, I've just put on the. <laughs> uh, which looks utterly ridiculous, I have to say. Let's let's give him hair number eight, so he looks like he's about to join uh, Soundgarden. Okay, he's a, he's a bit of a, a, a hippie in armor. Yep. Uh, it's just left as jet black, I've just left it as. Um, I don't know what the... the I don't think underwear really matters, but you can tell me if you pick... Oh, let's go for the, let's go for the, the ones with the stars on. Ah, uh, lucky 13. I okay. Yeah, I think you, you get them, don't you? Ah, uh, I think you do. And they give you like a extra charisma point or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. No, okay. Mm, I don't. Just because he's half. Pick an AI. Bearing on the game. Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know really what. 
Let's go for Maniac. <laughs> Good grief. Okay. Because we're going to have conversations throughout the game between our two characters and have agreements and disagreements about courses of action that will change how the game plays out. I've picked Priest, which is basically an uh, archetypal sort of white knight character. <laughs> oh, dear. So we're going to have arguments because I will want to take the, the, the path of, of minimum conflict, whereas you're just going to want to <laughs> kill everything. <laughs> Yep. Damn the consequences. That okay. Sounds about right. Um, so finally. Oh, you know. You've called mine Harriet Potter. You've called. <laughs> uh, then I shall call mine. Oh, fuck it. I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, how about Cap Captain Rad? Because he's so radical. Oh, oh, I don't know. 1D or double D? Tough choice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll, I'll just leave it with a 1D because that's how it's, it's, right. it's spelt, isn't it? Right, so. Just except... see if he looks any better with. In fact, can you, can you give him blonde hair? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Summer wheat blonde. Oh, much better. Oh, crumbs! I forgot. It was what was it? Eight was the style. I've just checked. Yeah, that's it. And it's just blo summer blonde. Mhm. Mm I better change your character's portrait to match that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, your character portrait does look a bit like Borat. Well. Because that's the, the blonde one with the ta- I've, what? Hey? It was head four, wasn't it? Uh, oh, I see. If it's blonde, it just may, it merges into his skin colour. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I think we're ready then. I will accept. I'm not quite sure how I introduce you to the game. The sorcerers of Riverlong cured the sick and right, just going through the, the uh, through a great power called Source. Prologue bit. But a terrible darkness invaded the land, and Source was forever tainted. The sorcerers who once healed now only destroy, and madness has overtaken them. A few brave Source hunters are all that stand between Riverlong and the dark power that threatens to destroy it. Wherever Source appears, hunters follow. What I'm going to generally do is let the cutscenes and the voice be recorded whilst we're silent, by the way, so when we're okay. to conversations and stuff. Mm -hmm. Rise and shine, Master Source Hunters. The cam wants you up on deck. So have you figured out how to um, invite me in? Not yet, I'm still in the prologue. City's full of undead, hungry enough for blood. But you're supposed to investigate that murder, ain't you? They say it's Source that did the counselor in. Source in a city like Sicil, nowhere safe anymore. Here they are, Captain Sir. God's blessings on you, hunters. You'll be happy to hear we've reached Sicil. But there's trouble offshore, so we'll have to sail in carefully. Here, have a look. Those are orc ships, and they're blocking our passage. We'll get you as close to the city as we can, and drop you off on the beach. Be wary now. Orcs are on the attack. Undead have closed every route out, and there's a sorcerer on the loose. If we're to get justice for the counselor, have to keep your wits about you. May the luck of the gods be with you both, Source Hunters. It's on the loading screen. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure how I get you into the game, but I'm sure this will become clear to me if I press enough buttons. Okay.
Okay, so we're standing on the beach and let's go into the options screen. Connectivity, players. Ah, right, I saw it clicking there. Should have received an invite in Steam. Mm hmm. Ah, excellent. Ah. Okay. That's yeah. interesting. Um, I appear to have control of your character. I did not want. I'm still on the prologue. Do I need to get past it? Uh, you might need to. I'll just sit and wait. I did say the host had command of the primary character, which I did set mine as. Yes, for some reason I'm you. Uh. Kick player. <laughs> How kind. Oh, well, this is weird. It definitely said that the primary character would be the host's one, and it seems to be with the wrong way round. Oh, cock. I definitely can't take control of yours, I'm clicking on it frantically. Um, bugger. Might have to go back and uh, quickly again. redo those, and but in the other way round. Alright. <sighs> that is fine. It's annoying. So, with that, I guess um, we're going to have to recreate the characters, and we will see you in the next edition when they're done and we can actually play. Bye bye!